The people responsible for the July 4th fireworks shootings would face charges if Metro Police can find them. Two innocent people were hurt in separate incidents. One of the shootings happened right in the Nissan Stadium parking lot. News Channel 5's Mark Bellinger joins us live tonight. Mark, one victim says he wants justice. That's right. And of course, uh, he'd like to see somebody be arrested and pay the price if that can happen. But right now, it looks like police are saying that that's very unlikely that they'll find the persons responsible. Despite a driving rainstorm, the big bangs and bright lights attracted thousands of people to Nashville's downtown streets to watch the July 4th fireworks. That's three days later, two days later. One bang in particular got Thomas Mashad's attention. The Watertown resident was talking to friends in the parking lot of Nissan Stadium. Mashad thought he'd been hit by a firecracker, but the show was over. So I started to wipe off where I thought was a singe mark, and then I saw in my right arm that there was a bump. So I looked at it, and there was a cut there, and I could feel something inside of me. A bullet grazed one arm and penetrated the other. He says he didn't feel any real pain until doctors dug around to find the bullet. <laughs> That's when I felt the most pain, because they had to poke and prod and, and try to find out where it was exactly before they started cutting, you know. It was the second shooting of the night. Another involved a nine-year-old girl. In both cases, police believe someone fired a bullet into the sky and didn't think about what would happen next. In a crowd that large, a single bullet's going to hit somebody. Metro police investigated, but they doubt they'll ever find the shooter. If they do, the minimum charge would be reckless endangerment. A more serious charge of aggravated assault could also be filed. Mishad says he'll heal up and move on. As an Army veteran who served two tours of duty in Iraq, it will take a lot to rattle him. I'm upset by it, but it's, it's not going to mess with me for the rest of my life. Right? Mishad says the only discomfort he feels is in the arm where the bullet entered. He says now when he clenches his fist, he feels like a charley horse there, but that will eventually go away and he'll make a full recovery. Reporting live from downtown Nashville, Mark Bellinger, News Channel 5 HD.